Hello everybody, welcome to the Big Bucket session. So today we are looking uh, and learning how to do pull request from the Big Bucket. In the second uh, second session, we already have learned uh, how to pull and push code from command line, uh, and we already saw the uh, commands of get uh, for uh, pull and push a code to the local. Uh, from local to the rep uh, remote repository. So today we are learning uh, how to create a pull request from Bitbucket UI. As you can see, this is a master branch, and all these files are in the master branch. Again, we will quickly just go to uh, the first branch we created. This is the same. This also includes uh, five files. So we just go to the our Linux. So here also we are having five files. We quickly check uh, on which branch we are currently. So we are on the first branch. Okay. So here the scenario is we are uh, we already have created a first branch. So we will consider like uh, one developer is working on the first branch. He is already have uh, five files like here. We have five files. So he wants to uh, code for uh, another feature. So he continues for the first branch. Uh, he he wants to code on the same branch. But as per the base, price, base practice, we first do the pull. Mm, pull from the uh, remote repository. So we all know the command is git pull get the pull from master master branch. So it is uh, best practice because everybody is having their own branches and after their branch uh, and code tested successfully they already have merged to the master branch so master branch is always uh, latest uh, having the latest code so always pull code from master branch so we first will check out our pointer to master branch yes we see the switch to the master branch for the confirmation we check Yes, we are on the master branch. We are having the, yes, here are the four files only. And uh, in the bit bucket, we see, we see that here are the five files. Okay. As I said, you like uh, master branch from the remote repositories always having the latest code. So we don't have this first branch file. Uh, on my local so we will first pull the changes and we all know the command git pull origin master in this case master is my my branch where i want to uh, clone or pull the changes and origin is my alias for the url enter give the password okay so here we see that first branch.txt with the four insertions okay so we are having the latest cop copy of my remote repository suppose one developer is created a first branch name branch so we will quickly check out to that branch check out first branch Mistake, yes, we switch to the first branch. We will check the yes, we are on the first branch when we have the five files. Yes, so developer created a login dot HTML file. Yes. So we will insert HTML context.
so here we have created it yes login.html is created so all all know that after creating a file and uh, writing a code we just need to check the status yes untracked file is login after that we need to add the file to the index that is the staging area after adding file that comes as the modified file yes new file is this we need to commit that file yes we have committed after that this changes need to be reflect to the remote repository so we need to push the code push origin first branch give the password yes so we will refresh this This is suggesting me to create a pull request of the branch. So we will quickly check. Everything is up to date. Oh, sorry, we are checking on the master branch, so it is not showing me. Yes, so we need to first check, check the yes login dot html is there. Okay. So what happened here is we have committed uh, the login.html to the first branch, but when it comes to the release and uh, deployment, so uh, in every project and organization, it refers to the master branch or the release branch. So here you can see no login.html uh, is there. So what we need to do is pull request we can generate a pull request this is here so we will go to the pull request no pull request as of now so here are the categories open merged and closed then author who we are assigning them sorry who is created the pull request then the branch name then uh, reviewing who is reviewing this so we will create okay one sec i will show you in open we don't have anything in merged we have two two uh, commits or uh, two summaries we have merged and in closed no closed pull request so we will create one so here you can see this this is the source so this block is for the source and this block is for the destination it means from where the code you want to merge to the which branch so here our branch is first branch as this is shown and here our branch is the master branch where we want to uh, merge the changes committed changes uh, so we will quickly go through title we can edit this title we can give the description over here for uh, uh, for what purpose we have uh, we have done the uh, code and what commit 
uh, what this commit includes and why we are creating this pull request so in short description contains the purpose of this pull request so i will write some description yes so reviewer you can assign uh, suppose you have as i mm, as i told you in the previous section you can create a groups and users so one of the user or group of uh, group of users have the permission of the review so they can review the code uh, so you can uh, give the name over here by typing currently i'm not having any of user created uh, instead of uh, mine dipika dipika's user so uh, if you have not assigned any reviewer so it will assign uh, this pull request to yourself so we will just create a pull request so yes it is created so i will quickly go through this dashboard commits it will include the commit this is the login dot html created so we will just check our git log yes this is the commit 738f 738f it is it is in sync okay activity is dipika joshi done with this commit so any comments if you want to say if if you think description is not properly set or anything is missed so you can just type it in in, in comments here so here this here this section will give you a quick idea about three insertions that is three lines are inserted zero my deletion that is no text is deleted as it is a new file we have created and uh, when we go to the view file it will show you uh, show you the raw file which is present in the source so here the it is a source code from the first branch commit id is this and this is the file text okay so go to the pull request open as this one we have just created okay so any comments so you can just uh, do the ignore white spaces edit file etc side by side diff is i will show in within 5 minutes so yes this is something and after that you can edit it you can decline it if the reviewer uh, reviewer uh, gone through your code and he is like uh, some changes are uh, some changes must be there and uh, developer must need to change the code and that is not a expected uh, this is not the expected code by the reviewer so he can he or she can decline from here so it is assigned it is assigned to uh, myself so you can just go to approve it is approved so you will see here a green tick and you can just merge the code this is the commit message for the merging here it asks merge commit and first forward squash it means the merge commit means merge the code and do the commit so it will give you another commit id yes so it is merging the code from first branch to the master branch so we just check is our master branch is having this code or not yes this is a master branch and we have login.html 9 minutes ago okay 
yes so this is having our code also okay so another thing i just want you to know as so if i go to the cd check out master and i will see here no login.html is there so i need to pull the changes yes here you can see the fast forward login.html three insertions now you can see the login.html is there after that client said like uh, my requirement is changed so you must need to change the login.html so i will go to my branch get check out first branch then spelling mistake yes we have switched to the mask be your first branch we will open our login.html hello Welcome to the Bitbucket sessions and uh, we will delete these sessions, okay? Yes, we all know what to do after this. Login.html, get commit. If an M. We will commit login.html. Okay, so git push origin first branch. Yes, we have done the latest changes push to the remote repository on the first branch yes it is 29 seconds ago yes we have done the changes and this is the latest commit okay so we again go to the pull request because we need to pull the latest changes from the first repo first branch uh, to the master branch so we again create a pull request this is the source this is the destination okay here we come in as per latest the required paint okay so here it comes diff so we can check here two insertions and one deletion as we have deleted the session so it will show as the full line deleted and again it is inserted and we have this inserted newly the hello text so it is quick diff is just quickly check check what we have deleted and what we have inserted so the same side by side diff do the same it will give you this so this was the previous commit code and this is the latest changes so it will include that i have deleted this and i have included this so here from here you can get a clear idea about the diff that is the difference between the two commits so you just can create a pull request
same you can see here the same in the side by side diff you can just approve and merge merge you have just merged these changes okay so here it revert button is there so by clicking on this revert button you can just revert the changes this the changes contain this hello this hello txt added and this session deletion of this session word so when you do the revert so it will get back your uh, changes to the previous commit id so we have done this merge so we will quickly check into the source the master branch yes this is the latest commit okay so we will quickly check that how to revert you go to merge because no any open pull request is there so this is our latest pull request okay so you can just click on the revert give here the branch name So as per the message, revert will create a, another new branch and a pull request that reverse a merge content. You can update the branch name and stick the and stick with the one we created. Okay, so we will create. Uh, we will give a branch name as. Uh, a reward of uh, first branch so we will do reward yes it will get the all automated text create pull request what this will do is so this revert will do deletion of this and inclusion of this and also deletion of this so you will get here a better idea like the last commit contains no session word and with the session word h1 tab so when we revert it it will revert to the one commit back so it will not include these two lines but it, it can only include this session line so we can just see the side by side diff so we will get a better idea so it will just delete this and it will just include this so we will do approve merge yes merge and commit Go into the source. Go to the login.html and here you can see the code which is having the first commit of your login.html. It not includes the second commit of login.html. So we will just check the third branch we have created is there or not yes it is there and it includes the all all code with the login.html with the reverted code so this creates another branch and it gets merged this and after the creating of this third branch it get merged 
this branch code to the master branch which is our destination so we will quickly check to the first uh, first branch the code which it conducts so see here it includes the latest committed changes so if the developer wants the reverted code to be referred so he he or she just need to check out or uh, pull the uh, master copy and uh, and create another branch and start the work from that or just pull the uh, or just pull the code and check out to the revert of the first branch and start and continue work from this branch so any option is uh, uh, any option uh, the developer can do so we quickly check Yes, so we will check the login.html code. Okay, so we can check the log here. So it includes the merge of pull request commit. Okay. So we will quickly pull the latest changes. Okay. We will just quickly check what all branches we have in local. Okay. So we have two branches. Again, we will check. We do the pull of this revert. Revert of first branch. Yes, new branch is added, so we quickly check what happened on show. So we have pulled the changes, so we can just check the log. Yes, this is previously this was the pull request 3 and now this is pull request 5. So we have successfully pulled the changes, latest changes to. So we have successfully the pulled the changes of our uh, report, remote to local with the pull request. So guys, we have learned how to pull create a pull request and how to revert back those changes so the key point here is when we create a pull request so uh, it is used uh, to merge the code from different branches from that is from source to the destination branch and when we do the revert of the merge so it will create another branch and that branch get merged to the destination branch so i think you all have a clear idea about the pull request and revert so uh, thank you for the listening to the session and uh, bye bye